Ratchet, batshit, dirty old twat. 69 assholes tied in a knot. Hooray, lizard shit, fuck. Eat, bite, fuck, suck, nibble, gobble, chew. Finger fuck, hair pie, dick cunt, screw. Hooray, bat fuck, blow me. Shit, dick, cunt, screw. Lizard, bat, fuck, cunt, dick, shit, twat. Fuck. Cunt, dick, shit, twat. Fuck. Edward had arrived at the works as he was due for maintenance. It had been a few weeks since him and the twins managed to convince the Fat Controller to restore Victoria. When he entered into the workshop, he saw her on the parallel track. Victoria, how are you? greeted Edward. Victoria smiled. I'm glad to see you again. I see you're nearly ready to go. That's right. I'll be working on your planch line when the workmen are finished. Edward smiled at this, then realized something. I think we used to work on the Furnace Railway together. However, I don't think I ever worked with you. Whilst we're here, may you tell me a story from your Furnace days? Well, I'd be happy to. And this is the story Victoria told. There was an engine called Albert, who worked on a branch line with his two coaches, Elena and Victoria. They worked well together, however, at times, Albert could be in over his smoke box, such as one winter, where he'd be in a boastful mood. Not to brag, my dear coaches, but I am an expert when it comes to handling ice and snow. The coaches scoffed. They've heard this before each winter. Do be careful, young Albert. One day, those words will be put to the test. Albert ignored Victoria. As the weeks passed, Albert continued to boast about being able to handle the snow. Snow won't stop me. Then, it happened. Oh no. Albert was stuck in the snow. Oh my, that does sound dreadful. Edward proclaimed. Yes, it took them all day to shovel all of us out. It's safe to say Albert never boasted about his ability to handle snow afterwards. Edward chuckled. You know, Thomas used to act the same way, and it got him into a similar situation himself. Oh, I'd love to hear that story. And the two continued to trade stories until they went to sleep. <laughs> 